side. Um, I, I think of them as, do you remember back in high school and we had folders and dividers and we kind of went through like biology and English and so we've kind of set this system up the same way. Um, we're going to probably concentrate on the My Profile Context Manager, Marketing Materials Campaigns and e-newsletter today. Those are our major um, core subjects, those core tabs. But I always like to start on the My Profile tab. Okay. So. Um, how, why this was created was we wanted to create a full um, suite of marketing tools that's connected to a contact manager, um, and we wanted to make the most effective and efficient system for the agent. So um, the My Profile tab kind of holds all of the branding and makes that branding consistent, and it holds all of their um, contact information so that they don't have to continue to add it on every single page. So it's so important that everything in here is correct. Like we don't want that license number without an actual license number, um, phone number one, phone number two, address, email, website, um, call to action. All of the um, Equal Housing logo and the Realtor logo in the disclaimers are going to automatically pull on all of the pieces as well. Jumping back up to the email, um, everything sent from the system is going to look like it comes from this email address straight to them um, or straight from them to their consumer, no BCC or um, CC um, included. <laughs> and any responses are going to go to that email um, address as well. Mm -hmm. And um, all of the pieces are embedded. I'm sure you've seen those. All of the pieces are embedded, so no links to click on or or um, attachments to open as well. Okay. They can also add social media URL, so Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or YouTube. Um, they would put their profile URL in here, and on any electronic piece that went out, that logo would automatically be hyperlinked at the bottom of that email so that the consumers can simply click on it and connect with them right away. Okay. The logo is, um, it is fixed. So it's unchangeable, so um, it's automatically going to pull on all of the pieces, so keeping that branding consistent. And then they can also upload their image. So they can change their image to whatnot, upload a new image, and then um, it simply will appear. If you do make any changes, make sure you click Save the Profile. You'll notice that there's these little Watch the Video links, hyperlinks, throughout the entire program as well. So if anyone ever gets lost, um, I think the shortest one is like one minute and the longest one is eight minutes and it literally step by step you through each process. Okay. All right. So over 4,000 templates connected to um, a very easy to use contact manager. Um, all these buttons at the top are, are very intuitive, very easy to use. I always present this as if I'm, you know, like a first um, time user and I'm, and I'm just getting started. So. Um, we do have the option to sync, but I hate that button, and I wish it wasn't there. Um, do you remember when we got our smartphones, and you know we were so excited that it connected with Facebook and and um, your Gmail and your Outlook, and then you opened your contact book, and it was like a huge mess. Yes. There were things that weren't linked, and there were duplicates, and it's just a big old mess. So. Um, the way that I like to teach is I want you to be very strategic to get the biggest return on investment. And a great way to do that is to have a really great organized CRM or book of business. So um, how I would start is I would probably start in manage groups and say, okay, what groups do I actually want to work with? So we've defaulted all of these in here. I'm just going to delete all of them. Um, and I'm going to say, okay, I definitely want to keep in touch with my sphere of influence. Um, I want to farm my neighborhood, so I'm just going to do farm ABC or whatever. Um, so I, I want to farm my neighborhood, put that guy in there, and then maybe I want to do like first time home buyers. Um, I'm going to do FTHB. So I'm going to add all those. So um, I got my group and I know where I'm going to get those lists, so I'm probably going to go to my Gmail or my Outlook. And um, it's probably where most people have their contacts stored already. Um, so I'm going to go into my Gmail, export a spreadsheet. And um, I'll let you see what that looks like. So um, I'll export a spreadsheet. Usually it's going to look like this. But I use this title column. 
for those groups. So again, I don't want to import everyone into a single group. I want to put them into multiple groups if I'm uh, first time putting them in there. So um, get my spreadsheet, organize my spreadsheet. It's, it's easier to work from the spreadsheet um, than work within the system one by one. So got my spreadsheet. I'm going to click on import contacts. Here I can choose multiple groups. I can choose one group. I can add a new group um, or I don't have to add any at all. And I don't, I don't want to add any at all because um, again we have multiple groups in one spreadsheet. It did have a header row, so I don't want that first name, last name, title, all of that to import. I simply choose my file. I'm sorry if there's anything weird on my desktop here. I'm going to open my spreadsheet, and then it's going to map my fields for me. So I want to make sure that they're um, all correct. So first name matches up with first name, last name, um, email, title, company. Sounds good to me. Upload those contacts. Make sure they're in the, the right column here, except that. It's going to do a duplicate check for me, and then it's going to import into the system that easy. So um, from here, I now want to add these people to a group, but um, your agents, and you are probably um, going to have a lot larger of a list than four. So that's when I would go to find a contact and search through them. So I can search by any of these different attributes. I'm going to just select all so you can see. So here, remember that title column where I had all of my groups separated mm -hmm. in sphere of influence is one. I can just type that in, scroll yeah. to the bottom, and search for those, and it's going to get me that list. You'll notice I have all of these different ways that I can search through my contacts. So um, contacts when they've been added, show contacts with invalid email addresses, so have those who have unsubscribed. Um, birthdays, anniversaries, those that are not in a group, so on and so forth. So I'm going to search for Sphere of Influence. I got my John Smith here. Now, if I click on his name, I'm working just with John. But if I check mark, I'm working with multiple contacts. And you'll notice these actions on the right hand side is, again, very intuitive system, um, one of which is add to group. So I'm just simply going to click Add to Group, click my sphere of influence, and add him to that. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on John here and um, work with just John. So I can see any group studies in, the last time I modified, when I added him, any of this contact information, notes, emails, tasks, meetings, calls, important dates. Um, cool thing about emails is I can see when it was sent. And then I can see if he's opened it or not. And I can also actually open a list of um, everyone that was sent to and, and who actually opened that email, which is a great determination of, of when people are online and, you know, great way to see when I should um, maybe send them a, a message or an email or um, maybe schedule a, a, a phone call or a meeting or something. So. Okay. Can I ask you a really stupid question? When you went in no, and you when you imported the contacts, how did it know uh -huh. to import it based on that column? So, um, do you remember you at, you made up your we group. had the first name, last name, title, mm -hmm, company, mm -hmm, email, mm -hmm. um, and then we matched them. So we, let me go back to that. So when we imported our contacts, I went to Excel. Right. Next, um, Choose my file. I'm just going to do example again. Um, I opened that, and I already had them at the first name, last name, all of that. Um, but if you know they didn't exactly match up, so this is every field that exists in the contact manager, and this is literally your spreadsheet. So if I open it up, you'll notice that these were the columns that I had on my spreadsheet. Okay, so it automatically did that for you. You didn't have to link any of that, the columns. Nope. Okay. No, okay. That's, where, that's, the, that's the step um, I was I was skipping. I was missing. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Right. <laughs> I love the question. Interrupt me. Um, so working with John here, you'll mm -hmm. notice the actions on the right hand side. So I can always go in here and edit his contact details, send an email, those embedded emails, text email, add a note, import the date, schedule a meeting, a phone call, a task, print letters, labels, or envelopes contact information, delete, or add. I'm going to go ahead and edit contact details. 
And you'll notice I can add additional stuff in here, but I can add personal and consumer information as well. And this is really great um, to add a home purchase anniversary date and a birth date. It works with our campaign. So I can set, a, set up a campaign for the next 10 years for John Smith to receive a birthday card on his actual birthday. And it could be either a direct mail piece, they are printed and shipped through Shutterfly, or it can be a, an email. So um, it's really great that I can just grab John, put him in a campaign for the next 10 years, and automatically pull from this date and send to him on that date. I can also add second contact information. I can put him in multiple groups. So maybe he's a sphere of, sphere of influence, but also a first-time home buyer. You can also add him to interest. Um, I can add additional phone numbers, email addresses, mailing addresses, and then preferences is where unsubscribes um, kind of are managed. So at the bottom of each email, it's going to have the option to unsubscribe. If they click that button, the system automatically unchecks this, this box here, and they'll just drop from any list. So their contact information is still going to exist in the contact manager. Um, they'll just drop from any list and, and won't be able to receive the email. And vice versa, if somebody accidentally unsubscribes, that you can go in here and recheck that box and click save. Okay. Cool. So um, working with multiple contacts, working with individual contacts, um, we really, really want agents to group. So it's easier for them when they get to campaigns that they can um, just simply click that group and put them in um, into a campaign that's specific for um, those people. So we don't want you to send, you know, a recipe card to every single people. You can, don't get me wrong, but um, you're going to get the biggest return on investment when you send people information that they actually are interested in. So um, being very valuable with those groups. Um, I can add individual contacts. This is great if they're at like an open house or, you know, a lot of people don't have business cards so they can, you know, open their contact manager and add on the spot. We also have a way of seeing who are, who's referring you. So email tools is great to see forwarded email. Obviously this is a test account. So um, I would see the email address, who it was forwarded to, if that person opened it, and if they converted it. So it is an opt-in system. It's actually illegal to purchase mailing lists or purchase um, email addresses. So it is an opt-in system, and if they did convert, and maybe it's a continuous piece, like my e-newsletter, they'll automatically be added to my e-newsletter and continue to receive information. I'll get a notification um, that says, hey, Sally Smith signed up for your e-newsletter, and her contact record will automatically um, begin in the contact management chat. Purchase mailing list, love purchase mailing list. Um, we use InfoUSA, which is just in the business of collecting data and information. So um, you'll notice when like the presidential campaign is coming out and you're going to see um, a lot of advertisements, especially on your computer and in your email, um, those are based on the same kind of information gathering. So um, they're, they have formulas to gather based on what your IP address is, is searching. Um, and then they also use tax records and census and, and all of that. I don't know why this is not pulling up. Okay, usually we have purchase mailing lists that you can see. There might be an issue. I know we're updating the UI, but anyway, um, purchase mailing list. And then all of those your contact manager is completely integrated with marketing materials campaign and the e-newsletter. So let's go ahead and click on the marketing materials. And I apologize, it might be my internet. I'm working from home. No, you're fine. <laughs> OK. I see it's been in. I'm so terrible. I'm that person that continues to, continues to click. So um, we have custom materials, and then we have those 4,000 pieces that you can use as well. You can search for any specific things that you want. You can sort by alphabetical, newest, um, most used. And then your custom tab is going to be right here at the top. 
So we put this library together um, so it's easier for the agent to actually go in here and find what they want to, what they want to send out. And it mm -hmm. kind of helps them to choose a niche as well. So farming and targeted marketing, if they want to do prospecting, if um, the broker wants to do recruiting, I'm sure you're going to be doing a lot of recruiting. Um, you can actually just go in go in here and, and see all of the different um, pieces that we offer. So most of our pieces are going to be pre-built, but we have a lot of templates as well that, the, 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 that you can utilize. So we have three different sizes of postcards. We have the panoramic, the jumbo, and the regular. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this jumbo postcard and go into create and edit. So we just got a new editor, so a completely enhanced editor. Love it. It's a lot quicker and a lot easier to use than our, and than our past editor. You'll notice that we have a very simple, clean UI. Anything that I click on, I'm going to have options on what I'd like to do with it. So I clicked on this image. I can replace this image, crop it, link it. I can move it around. I can um, twist it if I'd like. I can really manipulate this however I'd like. Same for text. If I click on this text box, you'll notice I'm going to have um, all of these text options at the bottom. And then I have these three little dots that if I click on, I'm going to have additional options. Um, very, very easy to use. I can change the font, the color, the size. I can indent. I can subscript. I can really work however I like with this. Um, you'll notice at the bottom here, all of my contact information and my logo automatically pull from the profile. And then I can add additional things as well. So maybe if I wanted to stylize it with a shape, I can add a square here, I can change the background, I can change the border color, I can change the border thickness, I can change the opacity, I can really um, manipulate the system however I'd like. So maybe I wanted that to be back, I can have this forward, very easy to use. Um, I can add a map to this, change the address, I can change the map type, I can zoom in, zoom out. I can put the toggle pin on or take it off. I can link this map, so it's automatically going to link to MapQuest, I believe. But I can link it to anything I'd like. Oh, it's the Bing, the Bing map. Um, and then I can delete it if I'd like. I can also add videos. So it's going to ask me for that link right away. Um, I'm just going to click Cancel. I can replace the image. And then you'll notice on the right-hand side, I have a bunch of stock images that come up. We have tons of different stock images that agents can use for, um, you know, more generic pieces, or if they wanted to add additional um, images for maybe they use Instagram or or AOL Instant Message. I don't know anyone who uses AOL anymore, but we have those stock images available. And then I can crop it, I can link it again, or I can delete it. I'm just going to delete it. I can add additional articles, text boxes, images. I can zoom, undo. I can preview what it's going to look like in an email or a print. And then you'll notice on the right-hand side here, I have this nice little carousel. I'm going to go to Postcard Back, and then I can also go to Email Footer. So all of our pieces are utilized, which is very unique. Um, to for, this, for example, for this one postcard, I can email it. I can post it on social media, I can post it on Craigslist, I can self-print it, I can you know, open it up in a PDF, take it over to Kinko's, um, and then we're completely integrated with Shutterfly as well, so I can do any professional printing that I'd like with this as well. And then again, all of this information automatically pulled from my profile, so I can go ahead and click Save, excuse me, and then I'm just going to call this my test. Save that guy, and then I'm just going to exit out of my piece, save successfully, exit out, and it's going to bring me back to my piece and ask me how I'd like to distribute this. So what channel do I want to use for this postcard? I can go back in the editor, desktop, print, order, email, web post, add to a campaign, or I can delete it. Cool. So did you have any other questions about marketing materials and how easy they are to use? 
No, ma'am. I'm good. I've All done right, the. Great. I've just done the e greetings. That's the only thing I've done thus far. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And all of those, if it says email or print, yeah, if they're only email or print, cool. Um, so campaigns, love campaigns, especially if you're, you know, wanting things to go out every other week. I know Julie used to put together these, um, these awesome campaigns all the time, and she would simply build her own from those e-greetings. But we have all of these pre-built campaigns as well. So if you wanted to do some recruiting or you know, those purchase anniversary cards, birthday, so on and so forth. Um, I'm just going to choose one of these. This one is email only, but tools for success is multi-channel. So this is very unique to our system as well, where I can choose a pre-built campaign. So there's eight elements already in this campaign. I can email all of them. I can direct mail all of them or you're going to get the biggest return on investment in multi-channel because you're, you're reaching those customers in multiple different ways. So um, we've already chosen the email subject or the title. I'm just going to choose email because I don't think I have any direct physical addresses in my contact manager. Um, they, it was scheduled and then the delivery format. If I was good with this, I simply go to my next step, add or remove contact, I'm sorry, add my contact, and then this would be off and running. You can fully customize this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click Customize in Advanced Setup so you can see what that looks like. And here are all of my pieces. So I can add additional pieces, so any saved pieces that I've created. I can add any pre-built pieces, and I can add those activities as well. Click Next. And then here I can get down to each individual piece. So um, maybe I want this guy to go out first, join the sharp tools in the box, that to go out second. I want this to go out one day after I create um, this, the seven days after that one goes out. Um, I can add additional pieces if this one was, was already going out. So this is your managed delivery option screen. Then I'd click next if I was good with that. And on the left-hand side are all of my contacts. Again, I have groups, so if this was my, you know, agents group that I'm recruiting or my recruiter group, I can check that group, add it to the campaign, and then it's off and running. And then if I go to campaigns here, you'll notice that this screen looks a little different. Now I have a campaign running. I can see the type activities, emails, direct mail, when it goes out next, and how many contacts are, are in it. I can always, always modify this as well by clicking on this. I can go back into that manage delivery screen, add additional contacts. I can post this so I can um, generate some organic leads, rename, duplicate, delete, and then I can also see reports down to how each individual piece is doing and how each individual contact is doing within the campaign, which is really great. All right, I promised a half an hour, so we're booking along. E-newsletter, love, love, love the e-newsletter. Um, it goes out the first Tuesday of every month with four articles and one movie from Riz Media, the national real estate news source. And if I did nothing else but add contacts to this camp or into this e-newsletter, um, it's going to go out with new articles every month. Um, again, it's going to have that Cobalt Banker, branded logo um, header with my image and all of my contact information automatically pulling. Um, but you can customize this if you'd like. So you can add listings on the right hand side. You can add your own articles. You can move ours around. You can add a nice little custom greeting. You can add a mail merge so um, people are more apt to opening things with their name on it. So you can add that mail merge so it will pull their name. You can add your own website link, um, and you can also post this to your website or post it to, you know, social media and um, gain some organic leads that way. They'll automatically, again, be added to the e-newsletter. Your their contact information will be added to your contact manager, and you'll get that nice little notification. So if you do customize this, though, I do suggest that you put a reminder so that, um, you know, you know when this piece goes out. You can also change that email subject, and obviously, if you do customize it, you don't want the same information and same listings to keep going out. Um, 
So be sure to, to set that reminder. But that is basically the system and um, the overview of all the different features and functionalities. Do you have any questions? I'm sure I probably will once I get in it, but not right now. <laughs> okay. And Julie gave you 